just know you're Indian American, but don't let the stereotypes get to you. Just do what you want and make, as long as you're happy with it. That's what I think. David's dosa radar went off. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. No, Dosas! No, no, no. They're tearing us apart. That's what they're doing. They're tearing us apart. That's What's going on everybody? Today we are in the East Village and I am super excited because we are about to run a South Indian food episode. So previously our Indian videos have been more focused on North Indian food because that was probably what was more available to us at the time. But today we're in East Village, New York and we are outside of one of the best and only South Indian restaurants in the city. And you know we couldn't do this video without a South Indian friend and here we got. Yeah, I'm Vivek. I'm a comedian here in New York City. My parents are from South India. I am from New Jersey, which is like kind of an extension of South India, <laughs> right? <laughs> And of course, to compare and contrast, we had to get our North Indian friend in on it too. Yo, what's up? My name is Jazz. I'm from South Jamaica, Queens, and my parents have a fucking job. I'm aware that there are some conversations that, as a Chinese person, I, I don't really know about. Yeah. That no. the Indians are having. We're gonna have a really nuanced discussion, and I'm gonna kick his ass <laughs> once the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to fight, yeah. man. I came here for the fight. Hey, baby. I don't know. In a real fight, though. That's Punjabi what Punjabis are known for, yeah, right? That's what we're known for, man. You, <laughs> got, you got the sheath on your <laughs> leg? Yo, wait. Man, come <laughs> on. Vivek, did you mean kick his ass in real life or on the internet? Uh, at the SAT, <laughs> come on. All right, we're outside of one of the only South Indian restaurants in Manhattan, Kaladi. Let's go. Hey guys. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Of anytime. Yeah. So here's the owner, Ramnia. What made you want to start this place? Lack of South Indian food in the city. <laughs> Simple. Whenever I craved Indian food, most of the Indian restaurants in the city only serve non Indian food. Most people probably are more familiar with North Indian. Food. Yes, yes. When British ruled India, they couldn't take the spice. And chicken tikka masala <laughs> is not even Indian food. It's a modified dish to accommodate a white palate at that time. Northern Indian food is more sweet or more rich with cream, butter. South Indian food is more lentils and rice. In general, Indian food is rice, but Southern India we use a lot of, lot more of rice, I think. And also the flavors, like we use curry leaves a lot, we use ices a lot. It's like a night and day difference. Is South Indian food more Indian? Hi. Hey. Ooh, I'll yeah, be yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be We're gonna talk about that. We I'll might be have... diplomatic and say like I'm not answering. Okay, that. you know what? These guys don't have to be. These guys don't have to be. They're tearing us apart. That's what they're doing. They're tearing us apart. We have to talk about this off camera. Yeah. Okay, we have an appetizer here. It's called pani puri. So the pani is the water. Yeah, pani right. literally means water. It's like water. a seasoned it water. water. It's like a seasoned water. Oh, it's a seasoned water. It's not like just regular water. And then the puri is this like little fried thing that she. It's like balls is what you refer to it as. And like you pour this into uh, the pani. So you pour it in yeah. And then you gotta eat it like right away. How then. many seconds do you have before the pani puri becomes it's soggy? Like, maybe like 15. Yo, let me do this. Seconds. It almost explodes like a gusher. So if I think this, uh, this water is sweet. Usually in, in, like, in India, it's really spicy. Hey, real quick, can we uh, introduce this chai tea? I re just remember, and this is my only reference, guys, in Slumdog Millionaire, he's like, do you want to be a chai, lonely chai wala? Call Sanjay assistant from Mumbai. Chaiwala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Chaiwala? I think there's so many of these terms that like a lot of Indian people don't know. Oh, you know. Right, and you know, because it's like such a I vast like, ass. And you gotta speak so many here. different languages yeah. too, right? So as a South Indian, do you feel like you're represented well in Bollywood? Or is it like sometimes they make jokes or like they they're do just make not jokes. they just sure don't get like the FaceTime in it? I don't think that they do. Oh, um, not enough. Yeah. North India, when people talk about India, that's like the default. The the culture of like what it is I internationally think more, known is yeah. North India, right. and so I think that's where they really benefit from all this, all this stuff. So I recently saw like that movie Lust Caution by Ang Lee. Yeah, but oh, it's the like, Chinese movie. Yeah, yeah. the Chinese yeah. movie. We've seen a few like East Asian films become these like international sensations with such a strong film culture. Why have we not seen that in Indian? for Indian people? Oh, yeah. no, maybe people are not ready to see it. I guess. Or the ideas not come across. Or it's not popular enough. In Japan, J-pop used to be way bigger than K-pop for many years. But what happened was J-pop didn't really, I guess, evolve into a, a hugely buzz. global um, product Outside like K-pop did. Yeah. Because J-pop more fed the local Japanese market because the market Damn. is big enough for where they could sustain a whole industry off of more local and like a very niche like overseas market. But K-pop, because Korea is not that big, they had to make it popular across the world. 
So I don't know if maybe that's part of it. Like in Bollywood, they just have such a big internal market that they don't need. They yeah. don't need. To, are we supposed to put sugar in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you, if you want, want, yeah. But I would like some sugar in yeah. my chai. Yeah. These are idli nuggets, which are steamed lentil cakes tossed in house blend spices. This is a chickpea battered fried chicken. Mm. The batter itself has a lot of spices. These are munchkins. They're like lentil hush puppies. This is a potato, cheese, and ground beef dosa. Wow! Yes. These are the things that my mom or any South Indian mom makes for breakfast. This is puri, or it's called the big poof on the menu. It's a puffed wheat bread. That's a lamb pilaf. Wow. <clears throat> North Punjabis eat this for breakfast all the time. Uh, How yeah, many of these have you had in your yeah, lifetime? Uh, that's a good question. Probably like a thousand. A thousand! <laughs> it's like every time your mom makes this, you're happy. Jazz, yeah, you're North Indian. This is not your native cuisine. Nope. How many have you had in your life? Probably like a hundred of these. Yeah. Easily a hundred. But this is more like a Sunday breakfast. So you're yeah. not like you're necessarily your parents wouldn't make it, you will go out and get it? We no, we do go out and okay. get it. We don't we wouldn't but make I think it at it's home. I cut it like as a lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> South Indian dosa. Do you know what I already went in? I went oh, in. Oh man. Oh mm. that's good. It's crazy, it's not spicy. Okay. I'm a Dude, little disappointed. For people honest. who have never had this, imagine like an orangini mm. mixed with lasagna but with Indian flavors. Almost like a Indian quesadilla. That's a good comparison. What's your favorite sauce? The, the lentil soup is definitely my favorite sauce. Dude, but you're right. You're right in that you needed all three though. Yeah. My parents don't really eat meat. So like a lot of the meat spices I'm not as familiar with, but it looks like Chickpea it's just blood. like fried. Chickpea batter. It looks like a pakoda a little bit, right? Okay. Are you allowed to eat meat around your parents? Here's the thing, man. I'm allergic to so much that at this, my parents were like, oh, fine. You know what I mean? But it's like, normally they would be like, no, you can't do that. Especially the beef, there's beef in that. Generally, like Indian people are gonna be like, no, really? you shouldn't do that. There's actually a story a couple years ago. I brought a slice of a pie of pepperoni pizza home. Yeah. My dad eyeballed me for so long. Yeah. I was like, you want some? I literally told him that he was yeah. so angry. He threw my pizza out. And then one time I ate Ikenari steak, it was so good, I let, I let it in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. My dad threw it away in the morning. I was like, so yeah. Carolina, Carolina fried yeah. chicken. Oh man. Wow. That has a kick to it. This is actually tastes more like a spicy mayo. Yeah. Chipotle so this mayo. is more of the uh, fusion kind of westernized. Yeah. That is your mint chutney. So this is like a idli nuggets, which is interesting because most South Indians are gonna eat just straight up idli. Yeah. So she has their spin on it where there's like some meat. She's calling it nuggets, which is nice. And then the dip, one of those things is called a is sambar. That's like okay. the this classic is, thing, so the, the darker one. Idli nuggets. nuggets. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's like healthy too. This is dal vada. It's like fried dal into like these like potato balls. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. We got more. Ooh. Oh. That's the very popular fish curry I was talking nine. about. Wow. That looks spicy. It looks spicy. It's not. Is everyone's definition of that? I know, I know. Because I Sometimes can't. I don't know what to say when people come to an Indian restaurant. They say like, oh, it's spicy. And I'm like, you're coming to an Indian restaurant. So, you're saying, so. This is and I have a very fancy yeah, drink, which we got very popular for this <laughs> summer. No, yeah. It's a rose popsicle. The popsicle goes in, and we make the popsicles in house. So try it and let me know. I'm going in on this pulao. Pulao is one of my favorite dishes. I love pulao. Pulao is a mixed rice dish. It's yeah. actually not really fried in the same way that like Chinese do it in the wok. I don't know, is this goat? Yogurt, I think that's supposed to go on the pulao. So these are puris, which again, is like a flatter version of what we ate before. Super good, it's super like light. Do, I, so, do I, I make a mitt out of it or? So like, it's like a triangle, it's kind of like a triangle, you know? Okay. And then you just go like this. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, yeah, that's and correct. Then, you mean a little bit like uh, the way people would eat injera in Ethiopia? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. injera. Okay. Yeah. Fish curry. There you go, dude. Dude, this is so mm. good. Uh, Wow! Yo, V, you grew up eating this? I did, yeah. Oh, hell dude, yeah. It's super Whoa. good. And um, you guys are Punjabi now. I see you. You guys yeah. passed the test, man. So this, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, but the you gotta curry clean the whole plate, man. You gotta clean the whole yeah. plate. Yeah. That, that, like, that like texture. That's it, yeah. Because right. if you don't, then your parents are gonna come at you. So this is like, if I put some of the fish curry on that. No, nah, that's fine. What if I put some fish curry on the pani? That, I would get mad about Ooh, it. Ooh, try it. You would get mad? mad yeah. Let yeah get him mad. Getting oh, people more <laughs> mad about it is more Andrew's thing. All right, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, right. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's me, why you're about to feel the fire right now. Right, uh, now I'm like even more <laughs> mad, bro. <laughs> I know, nah, this? Like, nah, like, we might have to cut it out. <laughs> Pixelate like this. It's like Pixelate this, guys. <laughs> Andrew is the food mixologist. That's one of his archetypes. All right. It's pretty good. Not bad. Is it okay? I, I mean, I told you it wasn't okay already. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Uh, V's like, I'm yeah, I mean, V, I'm just letting you know it's offensive. All right, you guys, man, we are wrapping up uh, just this spot. We got one other spot that we're gonna head to, but we got a lot more in-depth discussion, mostly about the Indian American experience. All like the Indian American problems. Put the camera on me, put the, this man has damage, right? <laughs> he has damage and we're gonna work through it. What's your guys' quick take on the Indian Did you know there's a Netflix show, show about like Indian matchmaking? I'm going, Go. goodbye. All right, guys, we gotta move on to our next spot. Shout out to Ramya and Kaladi. 
Um, but we got a second spot we're going to go to. Dude, so. we are on a South Indian crawl. We are. Let's, Let's go. All right, you guys, we just walked a few blocks over and we're at a Misa, which is the only vegetarian spot. The, the owner's from South India. What rapper from New York does jazz look like? Tony Yeo. <laughs> look oh, at oh, this guy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the goatee and everything. Jazz, also, how is it rapping with 50 Cent? <laughs> <laughs> you never flipped on 50, though. No, nah, no. Nah. 50 could always trust you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, loyalty is key. What can you tell me about the Vada? It's like similar to like what we had. Kiladi. That's a staple as like a street food for sure. I gotta get, get um, this on the street of Telugu. Well, Telugu is a language, but you oh, can get bad. it like Pune is a street. You get it there. I used to get made fun of so much for that being a street name, right? <laughs> Pune. You probably got the Punjabi too, right? A little bit. It's funny because my dad's cousin lives in Pune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all like, that's, that's a rich town. If you, yeah. don't know, if you don't get the joke, yeah. good. And this is the Idli, which we had like a fusion version of it at Kiladi, but this is like kind of what it's supposed to look like. What Andrew's gonna do is he's gonna put the, the mix in the burger, and like you eat it kind of like a slider. Really? Oh, like, and you yeah. would do that even in India? Yeah, you would. So this is a bail party, it's basically like a, usually you can have it as a dry snack, but this is like more freshly made. Kind of okay, like cornflakes sure. with, uh, with veggies in it. Butter, yeah. Butter. butter. Oh my god. I do want to stress too that like stuff like that is really easy to make at home. Mm. Like the, if you have like really an instant good. pot or like the Migos crock pot, like mm. you can like, uh, it's like super easy to make that kind of stuff. Yo, that lentil soup is delicious. Mm. I didn't think a bean soup would be that good. How was the lussi? Yo, man. Tastes like Yo, home. Guys, Dave, Tastes try like the home. saffron lussi. Ooh, delicious. Ooh, delicious. Yeah. This is next Ooh. level. I'm on a, I'm in a different universe with this one. Got a little seed in there. Boom. Okay. Close it up. Ooh. Halbaji. Dude, it almost looks like mm -hmm. a, a southern Atlanta, Georgia country roll on. Yeah, wow. and it's like this is one of those things if you tell white people about, they're not gonna be like, oh I know exactly. So you know so I mean? major points for having Major it, yeah. points. Major points. Can you dip that in the lentil soup? Like I mean, is that okay? That's better than what you did before. It's better <laughs> than what you did before. Progress is yeah. progress. <laughs> Verdict says, <laughs> it's like a, like a cornflake snack. You know, you make it at home. Yeah, yeah. it's possible. Yeah, lemon rice, this is on house. Oh do you appreciate it when somebody makes an honest effort to say the accent like in the Indian way? I do. I always say that like, if people don't know how to say my name the right way, we're not friends. It's not that hard, number one. And then two, it's like, you gotta have the respect to like say the name the right way. Right, you gotta put has, in that effort. It has like a meaning that I care about. If you make an effort to actually say it right, yeah. I'm okay with it. But if you're making fun of it, and that's why I'm like, yeah. dude, come on, what, what's do you your, see me? What's your real name? I'm just deep. Now, say it the right way, just deep, yeah. bro. Okay. Yeah, my dad had put a little Western accent to it yeah, from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah. You guys, we are looking at two different types of rices here from Southern India. This one is the lemon rice, right? Which yeah. is, is referred to as chitrana in my family. Right? Almost looks like a poppy muffin. Oh, this is tamarind rice, okay, yeah. So this is like another staple. Yeah. They look um, nearly identical. Man, it was pretty good. It was. Uh, the, I think the tamarind flavor is like pretty light. For South Indian people, you're expected at your peak to become the CEO of Google. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Jazz, the most famous Punjabi right now is Nav. Yeah. All the Punjabis are gonna get mad. There's no way it's Nav, dude. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys are all coming to America, but it's not all Indians who can come to America. Right, it's like privileged One people more. can come. Right. Yeah, that's basically how it works. It's like the way that a lot of Indian people come is through the H-1B. You have a job or you're going to college. That's how my parents came here. But, but that's not true for the Punjabis, right? They, they took the hard route to come here, you know? Know. Can't really talk about it, but yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, crossing borders and stuff, you know? Russell Peters said this in an interview. He said in Canada, the ratios are flipped. More people came in the hard way and they have fewer of the elites. And in America, we got more of the elites, fewer of the hard right. way. In Canada, when I go there, the Punjabis are kind of seen as the bodyguards, yeah. kind of the macho dudes. These are like kind of guys who could beat you up on the yeah. street. But then in America, like well, the image came, of Indians yeah, is pretty different. Yeah. Yeah. While it's funny because the image of like, for example, Cantonese, Chinese people in America is more like working class. Yeah. And then in Canada, Cantonese people all come from Hong Kong and they're more elite. What do you guys think is the future of Indian food in the Western world? I what hope the mean? future is like Kilani. Uh, I think that's a super cool restaurant that is like authentic. And then I could see like me and my friends hanging out. And I think the way she described she wants people to feel in there, which is like you get a bunch of drinks, you know, you're hanging out, you get I think she nailed food. it on what, she, what her objective That's was. That's what I want. Because I felt like like she wanted just a fun environment, right? Yeah. I like a new twist to it. I felt like she achieved it. Don't let other people define who you have to be, not even your parents. Yeah. You can find successful role models that mimic your life philosophy, but you got to look deep, deep cut enough. I don't know. For some people, they need to see somebody who looks like them 
be outside of the box and be successful so they can follow their footsteps. Did you guys know that Tim Grover, Michael Jordan's trainer, is actually Punjabi? No. That's crazy. I thought he was Italian yeah, this whole time. Bro, bro. Yeah. He is born in Punjab. His like, name right is Tim in. Grover Singh. Why do you like, take out the Singh though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair to Tim Grover, I don't think he benefited too much from being in. Like, well, we could have hurt him. Yeah, for example, you're talking about names, like he, Kamala Harris refers to herself as like Kamala Harris, yeah. right? But her name is Kamala Harris, you know? So like even to that degree, she's kind of let this name turn into like a more sort of like Anglo pronunciation. I think it's very frustrating for us to see people who are supposed to represent us at this like elected level. Yeah. Like Indians are just waiting to Moving have a leader that people are proud of. Yeah. You just want to see people like at least acknowledge that this is a community that yeah. exists. But, but some people would argue why are you giving Tim Grover a pass? Yeah. Tim Grover's not a politician. He's not like a pop star. He doesn't claim to be this like representative for anybody. There's Siraj Patel who just ran here and unfortunately he lost, but he he definitely has. And you know, there's a few at like the congressional level, but at the national politics level, this is why people have a problem in our community with Kamala Harris. What would you say when people say, <clears throat> oh, V, you're being too picky. You know, if you don't demand that kind of respect for your, your people now, or just like, like you're never gonna get it. All minorities in general, it's always a fight to like kind of explain to people what you want and why what you want is important. Pave the path that you want yeah. using yeah. advice from them. Yeah. Oh! <clears throat> Sorry, we gotta pause that. Okay. Yeah. David's DOSA radar went off. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. No, DOSAS! No, no, no. Continue, yeah, yeah. continue letting them know. All right, record scratch, edit, you guys Continue letting them know while we Preach. have <laughs> this Go. gigantic g shut the game down Whoa. tier DOSA. Oh. They just Put it on the table. That's straight. I don't know if that's more Indian table. style. <laughs> you can study and do well at school, and if you spend an hour every day of your doing music, it. doing yeah. graphic design, whatever you want to do, just an hour every single day, you'll get good at that. And you yeah, can do both. Right. You can like be like, Mom, Dad, I'm a great student. <laughs> also, I'm really good at this other thing. But eventually, when you're like, good at that habit, you're saying that you, you'll just stop the other. You have and to pick, focus. but like, if you're at yeah. the level where you don't even know, yeah. right? It's like you can realize that like nothing is all or nothing. Like if you're young. Yeah. Everything is available. You can like just you know work at it and it'll be fine. Don't accept the role people like want to give. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm Indian. Indian people are cool. Indian people can be sexy. Indian people can be whatever they want. If you do that, like just never let people define who you. Yeah, who you are. Just know you're Indian American, but don't let the stereotypes get to you. Just do what you want and make, as long as you're happy with it. That's what I think. But man, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. Um, what was your guys' favorite thing? Hypothetically, what would you know, yeah, whole Yeah, so I'm still going to Dosa and the Italy would have been my favorite two things. Yo, Bail Puri forever, man. So good. Oh. I'm going with the Pau Baji. There That's my pick. I'm going to go with the Idli mm. in the lentil soup. I thought this lentil Yo, soup I was amazing. You, I return, oh, yeah. I forgot to get the last. We're going to do this question and be out. Bollywood. I'm not a huge Bollywood guy, but I do, there are some movies that Three Idiots, Lagan, bro. Hari said the South Indians don't watch Bollywood. That true? That's, that's I mean, that's more true because there's Hollywood, right. there's Telugu uh, Hollywood. So Everyone's like, own industry. Yeah. So, but I, I'm into some of the Bollywood movies, man. Some of them are good. Give them a chance. Yo, is Bollywood like? I don't guys? Really watch it, but my parents will love it. They're like, Yo. Jess, why don't you be like yeah. them? Like, yeah, they it, do. They I'm say like, that. Uh... <laughs> my, I mean, my biggest takeaway from this whole conversation is they tried to tear us apart. Yeah. But we still and we stood strong. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Come on. Which yeah, is, yeah. I, I think that like a lot of us, all minorities, have like a lot of similarities, and I think it's super important to like talk through them. And I think what you guys are doing is awesome. Yo, huge shout out to Vivek, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Jazz, yeah. appreciate you. Thank you guys. Thank I'm not playing off any pre-existing controversy, but there was like 20 videos I watched about North versus South yeah. Indian. Yeah. And then we got really hyped. We really wanted to see a fist fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my Instagram is at Indian Maisel. So it's like marvelous. This is Maisel, except Indian. Indian Maisel. <laughs> and uh, I, I host a podcast called Nine to Five Cast, which Ooh. is about like workplace culture. We have some other stuff that I'm going to talk to these guys about to get some help. But some YouTube stuff maybe coming. So. Oh, okay. And Jazz, Instagram where is, can they find you in the city? My Instagram is uh, Jazz the Smooth, J A Z Z I S S M O O T A. You got a mixtape dropping? Yeah, yo, coming soon, yo, to the streets of New York City. <laughs> In the comments down below, let us know what your favorite South Indian dish is and let us know if you guys would like to see us do this similar type of video with any other culture. Man, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video uh, and I hope you guys made it to the end because uh, there was a lot of hilarious stuff that was said and insightful stuff and smart stuff and great discussion. So thank you for making it this far and until next time, we out. Yo, Jazz, man, we got the desserts. We, this is the end slate. Shout out to you guys for watching. I appreciate it, man. We, I, we just threw this in. We just have, we don't even have a mic on. You even know about it. Yo, what is that? That's the vegan cure, a vegan rice pudding right here? Right, because everything here is vegan. Yeah. And I got a... Uh, That's the regular cure.
What is this mango? No, coconut. He's a vegan. Oh, snap! Yeah. Unexpected, man. Last but not least, man, of course. This is a Punjabi sweet, right? Yeah. But it kind of went hand in here, right? Yo, this is like. This is, would you, is it crazy to say that the, the, the two. It's, the, 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 it's like, man, this is like. Uh, between this and the, the warrior ness, Kulab Jamun. Oh, that's good.